and welcome back and today I want to talk about the brand new Locker Store 4 from Acer Store. I want to talk about five reasons that you should buy it and five reasons that you might not want to buy it. This isn't the first time I've done a video like this and it's nowhere near as long as my hardware reviews but today I want to help you guys decide whether the Acer Store Locker Store 4 is right for you. So the first reason that you might want to buy this brand new NAS is the internal hardware, the CPU and memory inside this device, for me, are just great for the price tag. They are the J4125, a quad core based CPU, 2.0 gigahertz, that can be burst up to 2.7 gigahertz, and that CPU supporting 4K AESNI encryption, a great little floating point, and DDR4 memory, tick a lot of boxes for me. Along with that CPU and memory, as mentioned, it is 4 gig of DDR4 memory at 2400 megahertz, greater than the DDR3 utilized in the previous generation of NAS devices that we've seen. And with this device and that combination of hardware, it really does bring a lot to the table. And with an HDMI port on the rear of this device, and just generally, the hardware architecture of this, we're having the LCD panel there on the front. There's just a lot going for this device in terms of hardware, and a lot of that is thanks to the CPU and memory combination inside the Locker Store 4. Reason number two that you might buy the new Locker Store 4 is because, as you may have already noticed, it is 2.5 GBE. That's right, this device arrives with 2.5 GBE ports on the rear, two of them, which with link aggregation give you up to 5 GBE. That's excess of 500 megabytes per second transmission. Now, they were the first brand, it has to be said, Acer Store were the first brand to introduce uh, 2.5 GBE NAS systems by default. But not only that, they were the first to bring them to the market at the same price, if not a pinch lower than nearly everyone else who had one GBE. That's pretty impressive, and that was on the Nimbus Store series. And here we are on the AS66 series. This is the AS6604T, otherwise known as the Locker Store 4. And, you know, having 2.5 GBE at this mid-level price point for prosumers is very, very attractive because it is backwards compatible with standard 1 GBE, but it's just great to know that if you are upscaling the rest of your network interface, uh, uh, network interfaces on your PC systems, or your network environment in general increases with an improved router or 2.5 GBE enabled switches or higher, it's good to know that this system is already, you know, it's ready set to upgrade along with you. Reason number three that you might want to go for this system is that it is also NVMe enabled. Inside there are two NVMe bays inside that accept NVMe SSDs, and we are talking WD Black, we're talking Seagate Iron Wolf uh, 510s, we're talking uh, basically any of the range of NVMe's right now, pretty much all of them are compatible with this device. And the performance boost that NVMe brings to the table, allowing you to leverage the high IOPS, uh, low latency, and just general improved performance of two NVMe's in read uh, or read and write caching towards the slower but more affordable and larger capacity hard drives inside with caching cannot be understated and if you are in an environment where multiple users are going to be sharing a drive for all of their work or you're going to have the same frequently accessed smaller files this system with its ssd caching mechanic via nvme will be a benefit to you if not on day one then later on in the device's lifespan and it's nice to have that ability later on to take advantage of that reason number four you may want to go for the locker store for is that it is btrfs equipped you can install the btrfs file system and i'm aware i've said the word technically file system twice there um inside this device. It does support traditional EXT4 file system, but BTRFS bringing with it um, faster shared folder creation, lower resource consumption with background snapshots, and data integrity checks in the background for file self-healing. Um, there's just a lot to, that brings to the table in terms of data integrity and data safety and data recovery when you want to revert to those snapshots later on. Having lower Im uh, resource impactful um, snapshot creation is going to make you more inclined to make more snapshots and therefore have more options later down the line to reverse the flow of things if you need to revert a file back to an old uh, version which again things like malware and 
you know, intrusions are things that you may want to revert back to by making sure your snapshots are off the system, but still creating lots of them. Now, reason number five, the last reason that you may well want to go for the Locker Store 4 is because, and I've half touched on this, so let's go into a little bit more precise detail, it's just such good value. You have got the quad-core Celeron CPU, you've got DDR4 memory, 4 gig to be precise. You've got HDMI 2.0, so 4K 60 frames per second. You've got 2.5 GBE on the rear two ports, and you've got NVMe SSD caching inside on this 4-bay with RAID 5, you know, RAID 5 ready. And it arrives at a price point lower than the Synology DS920, which has most of the same hardware, but that one's one GBE and doesn't have HDMI. And it's the same price, if not lower, than the QNAP TS453D. And again, in terms of hardware, that device, it has the same network port, it has the same HDMI, it has an LCD, and it has four bays, but it doesn't have the NVMe bays inside, and it doesn't have BTRFS. What I'm saying is, this device presents a lot of the options of both of those two brands, and I've said that before about Acer Store products, and it makes this very, very desirable. And that's my reason number five. Just great hardware value overall compared with the other devices on its same shelf. But, of course, it's not for everyone. And with those five good reasons, there are five reasons why some of you may not want to buy their locker store for. Reason number one. Those NVMe bays currently are only for caching. You can only utilize those NVMe's inside to improve the performance and access to the overall storage RAID array from the hard drives inside. And yes, you can install SSDs in there, but predominantly you're gonna use hard drives. Now, I can see the logic behind that. One, uh, leveraging the NVMe to SSD caching. To focus on that means they can get even more performance out of it by really working on that. Uh, second reason, because of the PCIe lanes of this CPU, Pretty much all of them are going to be dedicated to the bays, to the 2.5 GBE, to the HDMI. So you're not left with a vast absorbent amount of uh, PCIe lanes for those NVMEs. Consequently, the NVME slots inside may not be PCIe Gen 3x4. More than likely, they are 2x2 or 2x4 inside because of the restrictions of the PCIe lanes of that typical CPU. Consequently, you might not get full NVMe speeds as you would expect if you were using them for raw storage and consequently I can understand why a brand might go do you know what if we can't give them everything we're not going to promise them something that we can't deliver and therefore giving it to uh, SSD caching makes a lot of sense but that's my own opinion maybe that's not true I hope it is I just thought speak out let me know um, reason number two you may not want to go for the Nimbus Store 4 I'm uh, sorry not the Nimbus Store 4 the Locker Store 4 is it doesn't have quite as many killer apps as the likes of Synology or QNAP. And I'm, I am always going to make that comparison because the market makes that comparison. They have a lot of um, good first-party applications and they've definitely improved a lot of the applications available to cover the mainline bases. And when they haven't been able to produce that app that you may be really, really searching for, and again, they do have a lot of their own apps, there are third-party apps that they've brought into the fold. Again, Portana, um, uh, virtual box stuff like that I always refer to but there's also some archiving ones and more but it's just there aren't the killer killer apps your hybrid share your active backup suite um, from Synology there there isn't the the Synology moments or QNAP Q Maggie or Boxafe or all of the all of these real enterprise top tier first party tools they're just not quite there with this. All of the sort of prosumer mid-range apps are there, which is great, but there isn't a, uh, there aren't many killer applications. There's a lot of functionality in terms of applications, and there's some very desirable applications in terms of utility, but there isn't a kind of, wow, that is cool application from them. You get functionality, and you get efficiency, and you get usability, but there isn't the crazy, hardcore, sexy application that some of the other brands might bring to the table. Uh, reason number three that you might not go for the Locker Store 4 is it doesn't, and this one's a nebulous one really, it doesn't have a fluid RAID option. Now, not all NAS brands have fluid RAID options. In fact, 
There's only really two NAS brands out there that have fluid RAID options. Drobo with Beyond RAID and Drobo as a brand has kind of disappeared a little bit. And Synology with Synology Hybrid RAID. The ability to mix and match the drives in your array. Now, on day one, why on earth would you put different sized drives inside a NAS? That's madness. But later down the line, if you've half populated a device or you need a bit more storage and you start introducing one drive and prices have changed over the years, having a fluid RAID system that can accept mixed drives can be very advantageous. Of course, there are arguments aside from that. A lot of people have noticed that fluid RAID systems such as BTRFS and Beyond RAID do not give the performance quite as good as that of traditional RAID. There is some difference there of around five to 10% in terms of read and write. But for a number of users, the fluidity of being able to mix and match drives later down the line is very, very desirable. Those of you that watched a lot of my videos on SHR will see that it has a very, very big following and it is a heavy buying point for a lot of Synology buyers. They, um, Acer Store aren't the only brand that don't have a fluid RAID option. A number of other brands do not have that, but it would have been nice to see them go down that road because they've done quite a lot of very, very good things with their storage management tools in terms of snapshots and um that my archive tool that we've talked about and just a tiered storage aspect of it. So hopefully if they can work on a, a hybrid storage option, that would be very desirable indeed. Reason number four, the number of uh, users may not buy the locker store for, and again, this isn't my opinion, I'm only going by the comments and what people think. It's quite rugged and enterprise in design and it, you know, it is a big metal NAS. It's, you know, it's compact, sure, but it is heavy, it is, largely metallic all around the trays are metal the system is metal there um does the architecture of it, even getting to the nvmes you have to remove a pcie to get to it and reinstall it in there it's quite industrial in a number of ways and i know that won't appeal to a, a, you know all users there's a lot of people that actually quite desire the the compact plastic chassis and the unit, not the predecessor to this, but the Nimbus Store 4, uh, I think that's the AS5304, if you want to go by the model ID, um, that to me, that was, in terms of design and physical design, I loved that device. It was very understated, but very modern, and I know it spoke out to a number of other users too. So, although it's not quite what my opinion, I do know a number of you may not buy this because of that metal and more industrial feel to it. Um, and you want something that's a little bit quieter and a little bit more discreet there in the background. Reason number five that you may not buy the Locker Store 4, it's going back to that HDMI port in the rear. It's great to have an as that has HDMI and it can run a bunch of the traditional applications as well as the likes of Plex Media Server and run an arcade game server, which is great and stuff like that. But a number of the applications in the HDMI uh, platform known as Asus Store Portal are just basically effectively just browser windows that have been soft modded into standalone applications and that's not their fault these applications are third party it has to be said this isn't Acer Store making those apps but at the same time those applications that are basically web pages converted into glorified applications do not translate well into an HDMI sofa setting or even uh, a keyboard uh, mouse setting it feels like why would you not just go to the website in a number of those cases there are great hdmi uh, tools on that platform but not as many as you might like and if you are buying this for its hdmi out and the fact that you've got that direct access direct access means you may come away just a fraction disappointed but this has been five reasons why you should buy the brand new Acer Store Locker Store 4 and five reasons that you might not want to. Thank you so much for watching. If you have got any comments, do let me know below. Maybe there's something I've missed. Maybe there's something you disagree with. Let me know. Click like if you've enjoyed it. Click subscribe to learn more. Visit the guys at Span for your NAS today and visit me at NAS Compares in the description to learn more about this device and other NASs I've compared it against and who won. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.